right, guys. I'm not going to let you down. <laughs> there we go. We, I didn't notice you got quite quiet. <laughs> I was concentrating. <laughs> <laughs> that last race is pretty tough, I will say. The first time I ever played it, I'm like, oh my god, that Jeep. I got beat in a demo. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> it's, yeah. That's not supposed to happen. But yeah, it's it's intense. It's supposed to be. It's a challenge. I mean, like, there's plenty of guys at the studio that were, uh, were losing. <laughs> and, they, yeah. and they played that, uh, they played that course like a so if there's anything else you guys want to touch upon, please go right ahead. Um, one thing I have a question about is Forza Vista. Obviously yeah. all the cars are Forza Vista cars. Is there going to be some type of place where you can go in and uh, jump yeah, in and yeah. examine and rip everything apart and open the doors and jump in and everything? Yeah, absolutely. So we've, we've wanted to include the full Forza Vista experience for, for a while now. And we've, yeah, we've brought that across this time. So you have a brand new auto show space mm -hmm. uh, and it's like all of like nice, natural, neutral lights. Uh, Still got the horizon vibes, so you'll be able to examine your car and all the sort of detail you'd expect from it. Great. Enter the car. Probably definitely touch on Xbox Play Anywhere as well. Yeah, okay, yeah, absolutely. So, um, so as uh, a lot of people probably already know from the briefing, uh, Horizon 3 is a Play Anywhere um, title. Yeah. Uh, which means that you, when you buy the digital version of the game, uh, you'll be able to play it on Xbox One as well as Windows 10. Um, and Thanks to the power of Xbox Live, it also means that you'll be able to play with your friends and which platform they're actually on as well. Yeah, so I, I really like that because as, as like a YouTuber, sometimes yeah. there are times you want to go in on the PC and jump in and snap some crazy pictures, but obviously your progression wouldn't be there otherwise. Right. But with this game, it is. So say, say you've got like, you just got enough money for a, for a Lamborghini or whatever, you can jump in there, snap a picture of that in the game in 4K. Yeah. And then switch back over to the Xbox One and play from there. I mean, yeah. that's big for me. I like that. Yeah. Yeah. It's a really exciting feature. Yeah. Okay. Anything else you see? Do we have time for one more? Yeah. Great. If you, if you want it. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sure. <laughs> I'm not doing it. Yeah. <laughs> All right. I'll try and uh, keep a streak going. Put this M4 sideways, I think. There you go. I think people are asking for that. <laughs> this sideways. But yeah, I think you can see the uh, those new rims. If I jump in here, we'll, sh we'll do a little camera stuff oh, where you yeah. can take a little look at the car. Those rims are so nice. Beautiful. Also, and the custom tire writing, right? Yeah, I just noticed that just now. So, you want to talk about that? Is that a part of customization? Liveries or...? Yeah, absolutely, yeah. So, uh, so there, we've also got some custom uh, tire walls on the, uh, the Lamborghini. Tire. Yeah, there's a white, there's a yellow rim yeah. around it. Yeah. That is on the actual car, though. You can see that. Yeah. But, uh, yeah, that's M4. It's cool. Which is a big feature of that new car as well, right? So we had to... Yeah, it looks it looks incredible. I must say. Um, online is twelve players, I believe. Correct. Yes. Yeah. Uh, night. People are asking about night. Uh, yeah. So we have a we still have our full day night cycle, um, and then the night is also influenced by all those improvements I was talking about with the sky system. So yep. we have genuine Australian nights as well as genuine Australian days. Uh, so all the stars in the sky, and the stars you'd expect. Great. Do we know if there's the type of crazy weather we saw with something like um, Storm Island? Storm Island, yeah. There is crazy stuff like that, or is it uh, your standard sunny, cloudy, rain, heavy rain? Uh, so we're inside um, Bucketless Blueprint. So when you uh, go into your event customization, you'll be able to choose uh, all the different weather types you'd expect. Great. So you can you can choose clear, storm, rainy, all that kind of stuff. Awesome. Yeah. Uh, question coming in, um, odd question. They want to know if you can put your top down in the convertibles. Stay tuned. I think they just want to rain on the, on the drive. I think that's what they really want. <laughs> yeah, that's the thing in, uh, in Forza 6. I remember one of, the, one of the crazy things. It was one of the recent car packs with the Rolls Royce in it. I forget which one it was. But uh, I jumped in the Rolls Royce in a, in a race in the rain, and my driver was soaked. And there was water all over the steering wheel. I'm like, that's that's like and that is that, I ruined a Rolls Royce. I mean, that, that that is one of those um, sort of like hazards of driving around in an open top car. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. If it rains, you better hope we've got one of those roofs you can put up pretty quick. Yeah. <laughs> Are off-road types now actually superior to semi slicks on off-road tracks? Uh, so, I, what I can say to that is that we have. Uh, Got lots of uh, attention to making sure that all the vehicle classes feel different and feel the way they should, right? So, yeah, uh, you will get the advantage you would expect from driving uh, an off road vehicle in an off road setting. 
Same goes for when you're like driving through all the dynamic water that we've introduced into the world. If you smash into that puddle with the, the Lamborghini, you're going you're to yeah. feel it, right? When I was playing on the D-Box, when you drive through that water, it completely shook me up and yeah. I smashed into a tree right after that. It's like each of the cars do feel very, very different. It's like that, uh, or the next car we go in, the uh, the truck, it's just got crazy jelly suspension yeah, and yeah. jumping that thing is And then when you take that into rough. the water, it's way more forgiving yeah. as you'd expect, right? Yeah. It, uh, it definitely feels the way you'd expect it to feel, which is always a good thing. So what other questions do we have? M4 Liberty Walk, yeah, so this is the new uh, Liberty Walk kit. There's these and uh, and Rocket Buddy, which they just look awesome, I must say. Just to chime in on a, a question from the chat, yes, you need Windows 10 to play this on PC. Yeah. <laughs> All right, upgrade to Windows 10. Yeah, yeah. Stop arguing. <laughs> <laughs> uh, no, we can't show the map just now, but I'll uh, I'll tweet a picture of it a little bit later. There was a there's a picture of it in the B-roll. Yeah, I think some of the game the gameplay that's out there has to sort of yeah. map, scroll through the map, see all the events pop up. Yeah. It's really cool. Yeah, it's very, very nice. I'll make sure to get a picture of that and tweet it out a little bit later today. We really wanted to show people like how, how big it was this time and the stuff that was in there. Yeah, the okay. map is just the first, so cool. The first time I, I saw the map, I'm like, it keeps going north and yeah. north and <laughs> north and north. Yeah. <laughs> it just never ends. It's awesome. So yeah, the map is twice the size of the uh, Forza Horizon 2 world, which was already big. Yeah. That took like, it took quite a while to get from one side to the other. Yeah, yeah, I went, but again, I think the thing that's really important about the map this time is just how diverse it is, right? Yeah. Uh, that's, the, that's the thing that we really wanted to push. So, I mean, even just in the course of this demo, right, you think about how much the environment's changed since you started to, to where you've got to now. Yeah, exactly. We started out like on a highway, I think, yeah. go through the jungle, and then we're on a beach. And we got all these crazy like cliff faces on our side, and like that just looks so good. What, what was the experience uh, for the team going to Australia? Ah, oh, so it's, it's always super important to make sure that you you, know, you you get all the inspiration from the source. So um, yeah, so we actually undertook the most um, uh, comprehensive research trip we've ever done before uh, for a Horizon game. And obviously, it's quite a quite a big country, right? Yeah. So we were we were split up. There was lots of different people going to different places and getting all the right footage. And um, and we sort of we used a lot of the, the same techniques that we used in Horizon 2 to make sure everything was super accurate. So we used things like photogrammetry to capture all the scans of rock faces and trees and things in the, in the rainforest. It's crazy some of the detail in this game. Yeah, yeah. Uh, I see uh, one question. It's are there other wheels, obviously, than the three brands you mentioned? Yeah, yeah. There's exactly. all the other brands that uh, have been in previous four games. Yeah, so all the brands that have been there before, and then there's also the... Uh, all the, the new editions. Over 30 more that we've added in as well. That's great. And uh, then, uh, one of the questions I keep seeing is Porsche. <laughs> stay tuned. Stay tuned. Yeah, there we go. And, uh, of course, to address the uh, questions on PC requirements, also stay tuned. Those will be coming later. Yeah. yeah. Hopefully everybody heard me. <laughs> <laughs> Stay tuned for PC specs. Yeah, obviously when all that news comes out, we'll be covering it and I'm making sure that news gets heard as much as possible. Do you need Xbox Live to play the campaign? Very strange question. Well, you need to play, if you wanted to do four-player co-op, you would. If you wanted to play four-player co-op, then obviously yeah. yes. But if you wanted to play offline solo, then you can do it. Yeah. Did we talk about four-player yeah. co-op? Yeah, yeah, we did. Yeah, we did. We, we told everybody in the briefing. Yeah. Oh, I see someone mentioning barn finds. Barn finds are totally back, and there are barn a couple finds. of them. I got to speak with the guy, speak with the guy who uh, who runs all of those. And barn finds are totally back. Uh, yeah. They uh, look better than ever. Uh, they look more barny than ever. <laughs> <laughs> he, uh, he didn't want to spoil anything when he said uh, we got some nice yeah, things I don't, coming. I don't, I don't want to spoil what the, the barn finds are. Yeah. So, I mean, it's part of the fun. Yeah, yeah right? they're, they're like my favorite part of the game. Yeah. People keep saying Nick Shift. This car's got really short gears. <laughs> <laughs> it's a brilliant choice, this buggy, because it's not super fast, so at the end, you're, you don't know if you have enough oh, yeah, speed. Yeah, yeah. It's got all that sort of traveling suspension, yes. so you can open it, the, the, the center of gravity is like, like properly in the middle of the car, so you can almost like spin it on a dime. It's, it's really cool. Uh, I see a question that, when you have like the Rocket Buddy kits, Yep. Will that be like its own car, or do you go in and you buy, say, an M4? Oh, Crocodile! Oh! oh <laughs> got him! Oh, it was at least very close. <laughs> um, so yeah, when you when you want a Liberty Walk kit, for yeah. instance, do you go in and you see, like, when you're buying a car, 
you have a BMW M4 or you have like a BMW M4 Liberty Walk in. So, so they're all they're all upgrades, right? In the same way okay. we've treated upgrades before. So like Forza Aero. Exactly. Yeah. So you can go in and you customize your cars, and they will be some of the options there. Great. Yeah. People are going. That's insane. <laughs> I think people are liking what they're seeing. <laughs> the one thing I love about the the Rainforce especially is that it obviously it looks like a Rainforce. There's tons of elevation changes. Yeah. But I love the decision to not make the vegetation doesn't necessarily slow you down, right? They still want it yeah, to be a yeah, fun sure. experience. Yeah, exactly. I mean you can just like if yeah, I find a tree that you can run over. I mean we wanted to yeah, we wanted to give you like, people that like, you know experience it, like smashing through all that undergrowth. Yeah. And, uh, yeah like, obviously there are some that you can't crash into. Right. Yeah. For instance, it's like it. you planned it. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, yeah, it's basically your standard thing. I'm really excited for stuff like this when you just go exploring. That's, that's my most exciting thing. It's just like so much stuff. It's like we've been showing off the same three races. I mean, you're totally going to lose now, though. That's any problem. I know I'm totally going to lose, but. <laughs> I mean, it was. <laughs> <laughs> guys, nowhere to be seen. <laughs> it's just like. I'm so excited for this map. It's just if you can see it, basically, you can go to it. Is what I've seen so far. Yeah, yeah. I mean, we've we've always prided ourselves on making really open environments where you can just go off and do your own thing. Yeah. I mean, it just looks like I'm gonna love the off-roading stuff. I think I have lost quite badly. <laughs> Sorry. Well, you know, if you will explore during a race. <laughs> I mean, yeah, it's worth it. Totally worth it. People want to know if Nitro will be back. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. Okay. Someone says go exploring. The exploring stuff is awesome. <laughs> <laughs> Alrighty. So I think that's just about our time. If we have any more uh, questions, get them in now. And we'll wrap it up. But yeah, I think that was a, an awesome stream. I think we did a good job showing off what people can expect in terms of the map, just the variety of the map, the, the variety of the cars really, and uh, all that customization stuff just looks absolutely incredible. Cool man, yeah, I'm glad you liked it. Yeah, I think these guys like it too. We got awesome. like 4,000 years in here from the very last three now. 4.7 was your max according oh, to the Oh numbers. wow, nice. Nice. I'm not sure if that's normal for you, so. <laughs> no, that is not. <laughs> uh, car list, 350 plus cars, yep. they're all Forza Vista. Uh, car meets? Yeah, car meets are back. Right? Yeah. yeah. Uh, you got your body kits. And uh, tire letters, customization stuff. It's all there. It's all, it's all there. there. It's all there. You There'll be more news coming out. Customize everything. Yeah. When can we expect <laughs> some more news? Uh, we will have more news coming up probably... Mm, I don't know if I can say. Soon. But, yes, soon. I'd say soon. Soon. Yeah. Okay. Including news. I know people want to know the car list. The, yeah. The car list news is coming. Believe me, I understand people want to people want to know all about it. But there's there's more to reveal about Forza Horizon Three. Great. I'm I'm excited for this game. Great. Great to hear. <laughs> well, I think that was an awesome stream. Thank you guys very very much for coming out. We'll be uh, we'll be covering this game a lot. Uh, this is this is just the start. Like that. Like these guys said that this is uh, yeah. There's more to come for sure. I got some videos coming out for this. Uh, of these three races, I'm just going to talk about some of the game, and yeah, it was good. Awesome, great stream. Thanks for thanks for coming out, guys. Appreciate no worries, it. No worries. Thanks for having me. My pleasure. Thank you.